Hi everyone, this is Lauren coming at you from the break zone with another deck tech video. This one going over the Ice Lightning deck that was piloted by Patrick Lagdeman to a top 31 finish at the North America Championship. So in case you didn't get the chance to uh, uh, catch a lot of the live stream that was done by the break zone to cover the event, uh, Patrick was actually featured uh, as the first game of day two. So go ahead and uh, check it out. It's a very fun deck. The, the, type, the name of the deck is the Lightning Special because Lightning's in here along with her sister Sarah. So let's go over some of the cards uh, as this deck is more of a tempo based deck. And um, Lightning feels like a finisher in that one, but it also features uh, some of the favorite creatures or the favorite uh, job class uh, for people that are fans of uh, the Final Fantasy series. And that is uh, Moogle. So uh, let's go some of the cards that got Patrick to his uh, top 31 finish. Uh, starting off with Regia goes uh, really well along with Al Cid, part of that uh, usual package. Uh, Ilua still great. If you're playing Lightning, you should consider playing Ilua. That special is great. The protection is good as well. Uh, she doesn't fit in every situation, but in most aggressive uh, mid-range Lightning decks, she definitely fits in there. Uh, next up is Onion Knight, part of that Al Cid package that we always speak of. Uh, Renault as a one-up because sometimes you just need to uh, give your opponents a tough time. So uh, if you have Renoa and you also have Red Mage giving you her haste, for example, makes it, makes it so that uh, since she's a little bit small, uh, if your opponent has some very potent blockers, you'll be able to dole all of their blockers and uh, hopefully finish off the game. Uh, next up, we've got Alcid because, well, Alcid plus Onion Knight or Rigia is always great. Uh, you could also obviously use it with Ilua, but wouldn't get quite as much uh, damage and removal that way. Uh, next up, we've got Genesis, great card for Ice. Uh, Vayne, uh, because sometimes your opponent plays uh, Net Hogs, and Vayne is going to keep that out of your way. Uh, Lightning, as we mentioned, that's she's part of the name of the deck, and uh, for the, all the right reasons. Uh, you have a decent amount of Final Fantasy XIII uh, characters in your deck, or such as uh, Rigia, as well as Sarah, and uh, Mog XIII. Okay, uh, next up that's Sarah. So Sarah and Mog search for each other, a lot of consistency, and Sarah has a EX Burst to be able to search out Moogles, also being able to Dole Force by discarding extra Moogles that you have, as uh, you have three copies of uh, Hurdy, Gurdy, and Mog. Any spare copies can help you uh, get some of the blockers out of your way. And last but not least for fours, we have Nidhogg, who, uh, along with a lot of the uh, cards that you have, uh, if you're able to uh, get a little bit of card advantage from some of the EX Burst that you have, that'd be great. If you're able to, if things come to a crawl and you get to save up, uh, some of your cards take a couple of turns when your opponent is starting to stabilize and Nidhogg along with a couple of Mog, uh, Moogles to discard to Sarah might be enough or uh, perhaps a Nidhogg. I don't think you'll be able to play Nidhogg and Lightning in the same turn. That's a whole lot of CP. But if you're able to pull it off, more power to you. Alright, next up we're going to go over some of the summons. Starting off with one copy of Cyclops who's really good against Leyland Viking being able to wipe all of them out in one shot. On top of being EX first. Uh, Glacial Bolas, who's uh, great in so many ways in terms of tempo plays, uh, being able to dole or take care, uh, dole freeze or deal 7,000 damage. Or I mean, all those, uh, you've seen this card be being played so much and uh, you've probably witnessed every single one of those uh, options being chosen and it is good and I love seeing it as a 3 of. Uh, Ramu is really great against uh, uh, the triple discard decks out there as uh, being able to take out a forward as well as uh, let's say Jesper on the same turn off of one card it can be very amazing and last but not least for some of but Exodus a lot of decks rely on having um, a, on uh, using four CP forwards as a, a main part of the engine the backbone of the deck or if you're facing down um, a couple of Thaumaturges as well as an Argus, all of them being two costs and you haven't played a forward yet. Exodus could be a one-sided board wipe. All right, let's go over some of the backups. Start off with a, a Black Mage. Uh, you definitely have a couple ways to deal damage 
and uh, with Black Mage, you will be able to just straight break the four that you da damaged. So if you use this along with, for example, break the, uh, the active forward, you will be able to not only damage a forward, uh, break a forward, but also dull another one. Uh, next up, we've got Gertie. Uh, so, oh yeah, sorry uh, about Black Mage. Also, if you uh, if your opponent happens to uh, block one of your smaller forwards, um, they have to consider the Black Mage ability. Uh, if that is the blocker they want to keep around, then uh, you'll be able to break it. All right, Gertie, being able to reduce the power of uh, opposing forwards by, uh, let's say, two or three, can be pretty nice, but. Uh, for the most part, you really uh, you're gonna have it for uh, being able to reactivate with Sarah, and uh, well, a two cost backup uh, is pretty good as well as discarding it to Sarah's ability in order to dull opposing forwards. Uh, Herdy, we actually saw it being used on on stream. That was pretty interesting. Keep in mind that uh, for Herdy, you'd be have to be very careful about how many Moogles you put out. If you put out too many, all of a sudden. Um, you won't be able to dole down 2 CP, for example. If you put all Herdy, Gertie, and uh, Mog 13 2, uh, you will now be doling down 3 CP forward, so you have to keep that in mind. And uh, none, of, none of those three backups break themselves. So once you get to that 3 count, you can no longer go back down to 2 on your own. So keep that in mind. Uh, Patrick was able to prevent. Um, uh, Ida from wrecking his board by keeping his uh, Moogle count at 2 and doling it turn after turn uh, kept him in the game for a while at least so it's something to consider when you play all these cards uh, next up we've got Jill Nabat so normally people would consider the Opus 1 starter set uh, Jill Nabat but uh, something to consider here is that Lightning and Sarah and a lot of your forwards are very successful to Fasoya so if you were to phase out such a deck which uh, I believe Patrick did anticipate to some extent. Uh, he didn't want his deck to just fold over, and Jill the Bot is definitely a way to protect your forwards from being taken out by Fusoya. Uh, next up, we've got Red Mage. Great TCP backup. You'll be able to give your forwards haste. That can be relevant when you're trying to finish off a game. A Grammys to fetch for, uh, I believe, Vayne, as well as uh, well, Alcid. There you go. Wait, was it Vayne Alcid? I think so. Hold on. Quick look. Let's see. Alcid, definitely. And uh, Vayne is also 12. Yes, correct. Whew. Yeah, sometimes I forget those things. All right. Mark 13 2. Uh, able to search for Rigdia, Lightning, Sarah. And uh, last but not least, we've got Devout, who uh, rounds out all those backups. Uh, being able to return. Uh, all of your fours except for Lightning and Nidhogg from your break zone back into play uh, can really bring you back in there. Uh, being able to recur, for example, an Alcid into a combo can be pretty nice. But sometimes you just want to get that Renoa to just go through your opponent or Genesis in order to dole and freeze. That can be quite relevant. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you, you like what we do. Uh, if you do, go ahead and uh, post any comments or... Um, <clears throat> down below uh, subscribe as uh, we get closer to 900 is it 900 subs or 800 subs anyways whether it's 800 or 900 subs uh, at both of those uh, marks we will be giving out more prizes uh, nobody's come to collect uh, some of our giveaways lately so I'll go over some of them again uh, we have let's see uh, horizon canopy from Modern Masters for Magic. We have Mox Opal, also for Magic. Uh, we have Cat Crush Sleeves. Oh, sorry. Cat Crush Sleeves. Sorry, there, there can be a bit of a glare sometimes. Uh, we have a Shiva Deck Box from the Toronto Crystal Cup that was uh, signed by the, one of the producers, Taro Kageyama. And last but not least, Lightning Plushie, still available as well. So uh, whoever gets uh, picked at random from or whether I think it's 800 subscribers we're uh, we're walking for or we're working towards, 
um, whoever gets picked at random, so anybody that has been a subscriber for since the inception of this channel, and anybody that is a subscriber at the time that we hit that landmark will be uh, one of the possible um, candidates to pick one of these prizes to uh, that we will ship out to them. Uh, so we'll pick that winner at random and they will get to pick one of the prizes. So hopefully people will finally come in and, uh, well, reply to us and uh, collect those giveaways. And we should be having a couple more videos uh, in the near future as uh, we have a whole lot of decks to go over since so many interesting decks popped up at the North America Championship. And uh, thanks again to our sponsor, ManageTechGames.com. Uh, they should be having some uh, pre-orders and uh, trade-in updates in the upcoming uh, days and weeks moving towards um, the pre-release of Opus 7. So please check them out. They also have uh, Magic the Gathering cards available as well. For um, I don't think they do trade-ins for that, but you could also just uh, straight up buy them. And uh, we will catch you next time.